Happy New Year, everyone, and happy it is indeed because I've got some pretty great news to start the year. Well, a few bits, actually, that I wanted to share with you. I figured no better way to start the year than with an episode of Behind a Desk with news to make the juice of the long year ahead worth the squeeze. So apart from our video of the top cars to look out for in 2023, which the links are somewhere down there, by the way, here is a sliver of news to delight our car enthusiasts of all ages. And I mean of all ages. The year 2022 was a bumper year for Geely. The Chinese brand in the Philippines logged one of its best years to date last year, and now for 2023, Geely has unveiled a new logo that features a minimalist design. Now we're guessing here, but the logo could end up backlit, possible given the minimal look. Either that or the public relations team wanted to speak in hyperbolics. Either way, the all-white logo is a sign of things to come for Geely, and we can't wait to see what innovations await from the bustling Chinese brand in the future. Mitsubishi Philippines is gearing up for a big launch this January, and I promise you, we'll be there. The 2023 Mitsubishi Expander Cross will officially be launched in the Philippines come the 26th of January, and the model could be one of the more exciting seven-seater MPVs in the local segment. Now, we can expect that the model will carry a premium over the standard Expander, and a price increase is expected over the outgoing model, which is currently set at around 1.280. Now, this may be the first time that the Expander nameplate will go over 1,300,000 Philippine pesos. Your guess really is as good as ours, so do subscribe to our channel so once we know, you know. Now, unless done properly, I'm not a huge fan of modifications, but when the manufacturer themselves throws their hat into the ring, I'm always intrigued, such as in the case of Toyota and three customized RAV4 PHEVs at the 2023 Tokyo Auto Salon. The PHEV Adventure model has a different bumper compared to a stock, which is reminiscent of the Toyota Hilux and has an outgoing charm to it. The PHEV off-road package takes a more extreme approach to the customization with Toyota fitting things like a roof rack, a jerry can, an adventure bumper with extra auxiliary lights, Body cladding and off-road specific wheels and tires. Now, the RAV4 PHEV Sport package includes additional styling enhancements in the form of body kits that enhance the model's road-going presence and character. Will they, however, reach our shores? I'm gonna be the first. Yes, please. You can never can tell. You can never can tell. I meant to say it that way, Jack. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Reports are coming in from Japanese sources that the longer Suzuki Jimny is on the way and set to launch either at the Tokyo Auto Salon or in India this January. Now, sources are pinning the length of the new five-door Jimny at almost a foot longer than the current two-door model and a hybrid powertrain with the electric motor contributing an additional 33 horses and 60 newton meters of torque. Now, once this hits India, the Philippines can't be that far behind, I figure, and I can't wait to see how the market will react to it. Just for our auto deal audience, let's take a poll, shall we? Let's say the difference between the three door and the five door was 175,000 Philippine pesos. Yay or nay? Let us know, and then if you've got time, tell us why in the comments below. Now, I did say something for all ages, and I meant it. See, Mariah Carey has returned to hibernation, or is just hiding from Nick Cannon. Look, either way, the holidays are behind us, but there will still be occasions to celebrate this new year. As my daughter always says, Lego is always a good idea. Coming this April is a LEGO Technique set of the Ford GT, available as a 112 scale model and comprising of 1,466 individual pieces. This LEGO iteration of the American supercar measures over 3.5 inches tall, 15 inches long, and 7 inches wide. It sports moving pistons, front and rear independent suspension, an adjustable rear spoiler, and you can even open the hood to reveal the 3.5 liter V6 twin turbo motor. Now, apart from the Ford GT, LEGO Technique will also be making models of the Camaro ZL1, Ferrari 812, Pagani Utopia, Porsche, and even McLaren. Here's to hoping you saved a little bit of Christmas money because you're gonna need it. Before I let you go, two things. One, more details on all of this can be found on our website, autodeal.com.ph. And second, if I wanna raise money to get LEGO and put up a car wash where Jack was in a Speedo, would you go? I mean, I wouldn't, but what? it's for a good cause. Well, I'd, I don't want to go, but you'll be there. Let's raise money. I need Lego.